and here the Lenara Connect 2018 in Hong Kong. Uh, who are you? Uh, hi, th uh, this is Dong Wei. Um, I'm a senior director at uh, ARM uh, Architecture and Technology Group. And uh, what is this ARM Server Ready? Yeah, we created this this program uh, to uh, basically uh, make sure that the ecosystem is enabled to uh, to support the server. Um, making sure that all the operating systems can be installed on the on the machines uh, without a lot of uh, um, you know uh, patches and, and stuff. So so we uh, we ask the ODMs and the silicon providers to test with us and make sure the systems are uh, complying to our uh, standards. Uh, one is the uh, the server. Uh, based system architecture for the hardware requirements and then the other one is the server based boot requirements for firmware requirements so once you are uh, compliant to uh, both of these specifications you have the chance to uh, uh, to install the OS and run uh, you know when you open up a box uh, from the vendors uh, so this give the users a nice uh, user experience when when order the machines from uh, the ARM partners. So that's, I think uh, John Masters say many times he would like to have uh, any ARM server put as, not a CD, but a USB stick and it just boots or yeah, this something is, like that? Yeah, this is exactly what uh, he was asking for. And, uh, you know, uh, if you if you uh, attended the uh, uh, Linden's uh, message, uh, I mean, the, the keynote speak, uh, speech on, on Thursday, on Wednesday, actually, uh, uh, you know, he was sending the exact same message about you know the, the servers need to be standardized, and I think John Masters was talking about making the servers boring, right? This is the you know basically the effort to to make it happen that way. So, uh, what does ARM do in that that respect? Is it a big work also with the the Linaro, uh, to get all this standardized or? Uh, yeah, so, so what we do is, is we define those two specifications that I, I mentioned earlier and, and then we created the test suites and we also have an a engage, ODM engagement manager to, uh, to, uh, you know, to help run the test with all the systems. In Lenaro, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, uh, efforts in the Lenaro Enterprise Group, uh, you know, making sure the, uh, the, the EDK2 support and, and the, uh, the firmware support is in, in place. And so we work with the Lenaro team to, uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, the, uh, the ERPs can be, you know, booted and, and uh, installed on those machines as well. Uh, you know, during the process, we want to make sure that we identify the gaps between our test suites and all the OS's uh, installations, so that if there are any gaps in the test suites, we can, uh, you know, we can add them, and 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 making sure that, you know, we are not only testing the the interfaces that we uh, specify, we are also making sure the, uh, you know, the uh, interfaces that the OS's are using uh, are uh, covered as well. Uh, so is this uh, something that's recent or is it pr a work in progress or what's the status? Yeah, it's been uh, going on for quite a while. Actually, uh, we started this effort, uh, you know, many years ago, actually, 2011-ish. Uh, John Masters and, uh, you know, I was actually with a different company at the time. Uh, we all worked together, uh, you know, with Linden and, and all the silicon providers and, uh, you know, to, to, to uh, come up with the standard. But... Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, we, we, we certainly have gone through a lot of effort to make sure the standards are defined correctly and the test suites are uh, made available. And uh, recently, I think these, these kind of, you know, the documentations and the tests are more mature and, and the silicons are going to be uh, made available uh, that are complying to these, these, these specifications. So, so I think 2018 and 2019, uh, would be very exciting to to get all these silicons ready and the boards ready for for the users. Um, so that's kind of new, uh, you know, effort that we have been doing. When do you think ARM servers are going to take over the whole market? <laughs> Officially, ARM said a few years ago they said 25% uh, by 2020 of the new servers will be able to reach this or. Well, uh, I think the market will, will decide, uh, and uh, as as you uh, probably heard from Linden and others, uh, there are certainly uh, a lot of de demands and desire from uh, you know from our users, from our customers, who want to uh, diversify the uh, you know the, the server offerings uh, and, and making sure the supply chain and 
and the uh, you know the solutions are, are more uh, available. Uh, so of course we we have uh, opportunities. Um, uh, there are still challenges that that we have to overcome. So hopefully, uh, you know, with the partners, with the industry, we we will uh, achieve what we. Uh, set out to do. It would feel good if the ARM servers take over the whole market in a few years and then you'll be like, ah, oh, I was working on this for a while and it, <laughs> it's successful. That'd yeah, be great. Cert certainly. Yeah. So, uh, so if, if we, well, I, I don't know if we, we're ever going to be a hundred percent, but, uh, yeah. uh, but you know, I, I would be satisfied if, if we have, you know, the, the deployment uh, in the, uh, in the customers. Amount. Significant amount. Like yeah. the big data centers. Yes. And uh, that they work great. Yeah, and it's smooth, smooth user good user experience, uh, high performance, uh, addressing the workloads that people are wanting to use. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I would be satisfied if, if we, we see that. I think it should be like the smartphone market, 99% ARM. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Okay, I'm just joking. Okay, we'll see. Of course, yeah. yeah. Why not? <laughs>